Shalom, I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem Ha-Rakakudash. Double honors goes out to the elder apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth. Also want to acknowledge all the Akiyam pushing this truth with sincerity in Babylon America on the videos and also at camp. <clears throat> Alright, so uh, I'm, I'm in Ephesians 3 today. Like I told you brothers uh, before, um, you know, just wanted to get more into uh, the Ephesians and the understanding of Ephesians because, uh, you know, Christians at camp, they always, this is one of the, the books they always bring up, all right? So I wanted to familiarize myself, you know, because we got to sharpen our swords because when we're out there dealing with these Christians and these, and these scoffers and mockers, you know, we have to always be on our game, man. We need, we, we have to have this, uh, this Holy Spirit, um, you know, we, we, you got to be familiar, man, when you're out there, all right? You know? And um, really, we got to, like the scripture says, we have to be prepared to answer. So that's why I was inspired to go into Ephesians and... Uh, you know, really, really uh, get a good understanding of this book, you know. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and start at verse 1 on chapter 3. It says, For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Yahweh Shai, for you Gentiles, if ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of Yahweh, which is given me to you word, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery as I wrote afore in few words. All right, and this this mystery, part of the mystery is the uh, the fact that that the Gentiles that are spoken of in Ephesians in this whole New Testament are the are the Gentiles of um, of the uh, the nation of Israel. All right, meaning the strangers of the nation of Israel. Because um, <clears throat> you you know you have uh, you have Gentiles who are from other nations, but those are not the Gentiles that Yahweh Shai came for. All right, but you have stubborn Christians and stubborn uh, Edomites and even stubborn uh, Jake. They can't seem to wrap the round wrap their mind around the fact that Yahweh Shai didn't come for everybody all right so <clears throat> i'm just going to go to the beginning of ephesians of ephesians just to show you once again you know it, what to to defend this gospel to show you that the truth that hey this is not these gentiles are not these other nations it's not the so-called white man it's not the so-called Chinese man. It's not the so-called Arab man. It's not the so-called, uh, or you know, the so-called African, which is the Hamite, you know. Um, let me go to uh, Ephesians 1 and 1. It says, Paul, an apostle of Yahweh Shai, by the will of Yahweh, to the saints which are at Ephesus, and to the faithful in Yahweh Shai. All right, so... Paul wrote the letter of Ephesians to the saints who were at Ephesus, all right? And once again, we're going to go into showing you who the saints are, all right? So here, here's who the saints are. He also exalted the horn of his people, Psalm 148, 14. He also exalted the horn of his people, and the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him, praise ye Yahweh. So this verse right here tells you the saints are of the children of Israel, okay? So when you come up to the camps or when you scoff on the, on the, uh, and make comments on our videos, you got to understand this Bible before you just start pulling out the word Gentile. You know, and, and thinking it applies to, to you and or you, these other nations, all right, outside of Israel. So, <clears throat> so that's why it's called a mystery here in verse 3, all right? Because 
Remember, last time I looked up the word mystery. Let's do it again. Oops. Mystery, something that is difficult or impossible to understand or explain. All right, so for the, the men of the Lord, it's not difficult. It's not impossible for us to understand that. I just showed you the very first verse. He tells you who he's writing this letter to, which the saints, which are the... the the Gentiles who were Gentiles in Ephesus, all right? It's not talking to the, the, the other nations. It's not talking about you guys. It's not talking about the Edomite. It's not talking about the Moabite. It's not talking about the Hamite. It's not talking about the Ishmaelite, all right? No, it's the Israelites. And again, some mystery, something that is difficult or impossible to understand or explain. So... For you, you two-thirds and you heathen, that's literally impossible for you, for you to understand. And why do we know it's impossible? Because you keep scoffing, you keep mocking after we give you the breakdown, we show you where it's at, we explain it to you, but you still are trying to be a part of this thing when this Bible is not for you, all right? It's time that you heathen and you two-thirds, you just accept that you're fucking gonna die in the, in the, in the uh, missiles that your daddy, the, your father, the devil, he's gonna send those missiles upon you. And ultimately it's Yahweh who's gonna put the spirit on your daddy, Esau, Edom, your father, the devil, to send those missiles, all right? So let's go back to the scripture. <clears throat> this is verse four. Whereby, when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Yahweh Shai. So you see? This is why you guys can't understand this. Because it wasn't even written to you. You two-thirds. Or you heathen. Or you Edomites. This book is not written to you. That's why you can't understand it, man. Verse 4. I'm sorry, verse 5 which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. So that tells you right there. In, in their different ages, hey, because Rome was, you know, Rome was uh, later in history, all right? In America, Babylon, how much more does the knowledge do we have increase now that, uh, you know, now that, now that we're in this age, you know, the last age. See? It says, verse 5 again. <coughs> Which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. All right? So let's go to Daniel real quick. Oops. Go to the book of Daniel. Ten. Let me see. Let me bear with me, Salakia. I just want to pull out the. Uh, <coughs> I think it's in 12, but okay, yeah. Daniel 12 and 4. It says, But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. All right, so we're here at the end. So we go back to Ephesians 3 and we go to 5. And it says, which in the other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. All right, so the Spirit is the Word. The Spirit is the Scripture. It's now where it's being revealed to his holy apostles and his prophets. All right? The word apostle means sent out. Holy means true. 
His true men who are sent out is how you can read that verse. The word prophet is it means teacher. Alright? So what are we doing here on these videos? We're teaching. What are we doing at camp? We're teaching. And it's being revealed unto us, not to these other heathen nations, not to the the you know, because yes, you are Gentiles, you heathen nations. But you are not the Gentiles that Yahweh Shai came for and suffered for and died for. Alright? Verse 6. But you see right there though, that's that's the uh, that's what it is, man. The the knowledge increasing. Mm -hmm. We have we have better knowledge of this this of our book. Because there was a time where we didn't we didn't have the knowledge due to the, the enemy. The enemy was keeping us in oppression. You know, you as a uh, so-called Negro in America, you, it was illegal for you to read as a slave. You know, <clears throat> you so-called Latinos and Native Americans, hey, you guys were going off badly when, uh, when the so-called white man got here to America. You lost the knowledge. You were busy worshiping uh, the corn god or you were busy worshiping the sun god, or, 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 or you know what I'm saying? You had so many uh, false gods that you were worshiping. That's why Yahweh sent the so-called white man to destroy you. All right, it's all written in the scripture. Verse six. The Gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of his promise in Yahweh Shai by the gospel. So you see, this says the same body, so that deals with kinsmen, that deals with brethren, that deals with one nation, all right? You can't, you can't be a uh, part of the same body and you have different flesh, you know, or different, you know what I'm saying? Even, even naturally, you can't, that doesn't make any sense. The same body in Yahweh Shai is all, it's all put together by um, Israelites, all right? All right, Salakia. So, so, but that's what it is, man. The one body has to do with one nation, all right? It doesn't make any sense if you have foreign nations as part of that body. That don't make sense, you know? But that's Esau's, he's always been that way. You know, in the Maccabees, he tried to conform everybody, including the Israelites, unto his so he says so that we all became one people let me let me get that real quick he's trying to make one body because that's the devil but yahweh hey the only body he's concerned with is the is the uh, the body of israel which is which are the men who are are going to get this knowledge in this book and this bible sealed in their heads all right let's go to maccabees real quick i'm just trying to remember where it's at Basically, uh, during the book of Maccabees, when the white man rose into dominion on the planet Earth, you know, he, uh, he made an ordinance to say, hey, we all going to become one people, just like America Babylon, all right? Let's see, I'm trying to find it here. Well, let me, I saw some stuff that I can read to support this argument. Let's see, it's, uh... Well, let's start at 11, all right? Mac, first Maccabees 11, 1 and 11. In those days went there out of Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us, for since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. So this device pleased them well. Then certain people were so forward herein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. Whereupon they built a place of exercise 
at Jerusalem according to the customs of the heathen and made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant and joined themselves to the heathen and were sold to do mischief. All right. <clears throat> so you see our, our people were joined with the heathen. The goal of the white man has always been to make it, you know, basically cleave to Jacob, um, try to make our people believe that, you know, we're all we're all in this together. You know, did they tell you all men are created equally? And you have people who don't know this Bible, they'll argue till they die that that's a true statement, that all men are created equally, but the Bible tells us that Israelites are above all people. All right? I still want to find that uh, that verse. Salakia, I'm just looking for the verse in my apocrypha that says uh, that you know they they all want they be, they wanted to make us all one people. Man, let me just Google it, Salakia. All one people KJV apocrypha. Okay, here it is. We'll go to first Maccabees and we go down to 41. So after they all made a covenant with the heathen, this is uh, verse 41. It says, Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people. All right, so that's Antiochus was an Edomite, but that's that's that you know he's just like Donald Trump, telling you that hey, every, we're all one nation under God, which is not true, man. America is not one nation under God. Their one nation, their God is Baphomet. Their God is, you know, their God is uh, the demon, the demon God, you know, all, the pagan God, Molech. All right child sacrifice God that's the God that they pay homage to that's why they don't follow the laws of Yahweh right they're busy following their father the devil and when you you Jakes are you know you're just like you're these evil Israelites right here you know that we just read about you're the evil Israelites that says here in uh, where was it wicked Israelites let me find that again In verse 11, in those days went there out of Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us, for since we departed from them we have had much sorrow. And that's how you two-thirds are. You, you feel like if you leave the white man's society or his system, or, or you know, you want, you're praying for the COVID to go away so that America can go back to normal, well, you're literally, that's a wicked thing. The will of Yahweh is to destroy America, but you're sitting here saying, hey, you know, let's, let's pray for this place to get better. You know, why? It's because like verse 11 says, you, you, you know, since if you depart from America, you, you feel like you're gonna have much sorrow. You know? But you're wicked, Yahweh says. That's what it says. You're a wicked man out of Israel. You're a Jake. And really, yeah, we shouldn't even call you an Israelite because you think you're black, you think you're uh, Negro, you think you're Latino, you think you're Hispanic, you think you're Mexican, you think you're Native American. All of those bywords that the oppressor calls you, you that's what you think you are. Back to Ephesians, all right? Verse 3, and I'm sorry, chapter 3 and verse... <clears throat> Six. So it says that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs of the same body and the partakers of his promise in Yahweh Shai by the gospel. 
All right, so we know that the Gentiles here is speaking of the Israelite strangers. The word Gentile means stranger. The word Gentile here is speaking of the outcasts of Israel, the ones who were going, following according to the heathen. All right? Verse 7, Whereof I was made a minister according to the gift of Yahweh, I'm sorry, a gift of grace of Yahweh, given unto me by the effectual working of his power. So just like Paul, we're out here doing this, this ministry, we're out here doing uh, um, the, these lessons and going to camp and showing our people the truth, showing our people their transgressions as we're commanded to do. And um, you see, um, it says here, the, it's grace. It's grace that we're able to preach and that Yahweh have put a spirit on us to, to, do the, uh, to do the work, to become a minister. All right? Let's look up that word minister real quick. Minister is a member of a clergy, especially Protestant churches. So in our case, it's not a Protestant church. It's the truth. It's the Hebrew Israelite movement. The, the, the great awakening, if you will, all right? But we're members of the clergy, you know? So that's, that shows you, it shows you the power of Yahweh. He's put the spirit on men of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, to go out and teach this truth on the corners of Babylon in the place where we are in captivity, according to the Bible, all right? Okay, verse 8. Unto me, who am less than the least of all saints, is the grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Yahweh Shai, all right? And that's a good spirit to be in, a humble spirit. You call yourself the least of all saints, all right? Because we don't, we don't even know if we're, we are the, the men, you know? We say if we're not who are, who is, who's doing the work, who's, who's fulfilling this prophecy, you know? But, you know, be humble about it. You don't call yourself saved like the Christians do. They say they're already saved. As if, that's an arrogant thing, as if they know that they're going to get taken up in a chariot. When we're telling you you're not going to take up, be taken up in a chariot, why? because you're not an Israelite. Why else? Because you're preaching a lie. You don't even have the understanding on the chariots. You don't even have the understanding on salvation. All right? So verse, uh, where are we at? Verse, verse nine. And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world hath been hid in Yahweh, who created all things by Yahweh Shai. All right, so the all men, he's talking about all the men of, you know, all the men of uh, Israel who were outcasts. We already showed you in Ephesians 1 and 1, he was talking to his people. He was talking to the saints. All right, he didn't say... I was talking to the Edomites. I was talking to the Moabites. No, he said, I was talking to the saints. And then in Psalms 148, 14, shows you that the saints are Israelites, man. Verse 10. To the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places by, might be known by the church and manifold wisdom of Yahweh, according to the eternal purpose which he purposed in Yahweh Shai, our Hamashiach, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him. All right, so Paul was bold on the streets just like we're bold on the streets. You got to be bold to tell, tell uh, somebody in their own kingdom, when I'm talking about the Edomites, you got to be bold to tell them in their own kingdom that they ain't shit, that they don't they don't pertain to salvation, they don't pertain to the promises, they don't pertain to the law. All right, none of that belongs to you Edomites. You got you Edomites were never given the law. Why do you think you're not? You've never followed the law. 
because you've never been given the law. Makes sense. Where are we at? Um, <clears throat> verse 13. Wherefore I desire that ye faint not at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. So you see, our tribulations are literally our glory. The fact that we're in slavery, in captivity, the fact that the so-called white man rules over us, that's a tribulation, and that's our glory at the end of the day. Be glad that you're not in charge in this, in this kingdom. Be glad that you're not the CEO of the company you work for, you know? Be glad that you, that, you know, you, you may be living paycheck to paycheck. And you see the, the, these uh, Edomites there, they don't live like that, man. You know? You know, my woman is a good example. Her, uh, she, has, she, she works for a, a, a dentistry uh, office. And, uh, you know, her, the dentist that works there, he just takes days off and weeks off when, as, as, he, as he feels, you know? He doesn't have to put in for a vacation. He doesn't have to, you know, give anybody a notice. No, he just, there's days he'll just say, hey, I'm leaving for next week. You guys, uh, you know, don't need to work. And then guess what? They don't get paid. See, that's an Edomite. That's the spirit of an Edomite. They don't care, you know, what, they don't care what, um, what you have to deal with, you know, in their, in their wicked ass kingdom. They're living their life right now, man. You know? They're living the life, right? They're living la vida loca. <laughs> These Edomites, you know? But you, you should be, you should be, uh, like it says right here, um, for you, which is your glory in verse 13, these tribulations. That's, and that means beauty. The word glory means beauty. It's beautiful to know that you're an Israelite. It's beautiful to know that you have salvation if you repent as an Israelite. You know? It's beautiful to know this truth. It's glorious, right? That's what the word glory means. Verse 14, for this cause I bow my knees unto the Father, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, of whom the whole family in heaven and the earth is named. All right, and what is that family? That family is the Israelites. All right. That he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened which with might by his spirit in the inner man that Yahweh Shai may dwell in your hearts by faith that ye being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height alright so he's saying hey you outcasts of Israel hey you guys are saints too, some of you, you know? Now, now you just got to understand what it is. You got to learn the mystery. All right? The mystery is that we were scattered among all nations. And whenever this Bible talks about nations being blessed or, and, you know, it's talking about because the reason is because we're in all nations. You know, we're blessed because we're, we're coming out of these nations and realizing there's only one nation. See? Verse uh, 17. That Yahweh Shai may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye being rooted and grounded in love, which love deals with obedience. Obedience to the law. All right? Let's, let's just go to a precept real quick. Let's go to John 14, 23. It says, Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. He that loveth me not keepeth not my sayings, and the word which ye hear is not mine, but the father's which sent me. See, Yahweh Shai, he, he was preaching, you know, the, keep the commandments. He said, he, he, he didn't say, hey, 
you know, once I die, you know, don't worry about the law. <laughs> he never said that. And, and like we always say, you know, we know the law is not going to save us, but we do know that the law is still in effect. All right? And then the law was never given to the heathen nations. That's why you, you heathen nations, you are Gentiles, meaning strangers, but you're not the Gentiles that the Hawashai died for. All right? Um, but it says right there in 23, John 14, 23, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. And love has to do with obedience. At the end of the day, that obedience is dealing with the law, statutes, and commandments of the uh, of Yahweh. All right? Go back to Ephesians 3, and I'm at 16. Or no, I'm at... 19 <clears throat> It says And to know the love of Yahweh Shai Which passeth knowledge That ye might be filled with all the fullness of Yahweh Alright So you have to have that knowledge and that, and that love Which You know Knowledge is this wisdom This truth The love is the obedience side of it Alright Verse uh, 20 Now unto him That is able to do exceeding Abundantly above all that we ask Or think according to the power That worketh in us Alright so what's that power That works in us it's the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem It's working in us it's working in his Men it's working in his Nation of Israel it's working In his 144,000 prophets Who are on the street corners of America Babylon you know crying aloud and uh, lifting up their voice like a horn in, in, in their captivity alright verse 21 unto him be glory in the church by Yahweh Shai through all, throughout all ages world without end so be it alright amen means so be it so world without end you know well what, let's go to that for the precept to know what world without end they're talking about. This is just more proof, man. The more we study, the more we're sharpening our sword, the more we're able to just cut you fucking devils, man. You're not a you're not a Gentile that Yahushai died for, man. Just get it through your thick ass skull that Yahushai didn't die for your sorry ass, all right? You're nothing. You're like unto spittle, the Bible says. Well, let me read this precept. But Israel shall be saved in Yahweh Shai, or I'm sorry, in Yahweh, with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. So it's Israel, man. Paul was talking to the Israelites in Ephesus, all right? In Ephesus. Let's go back to it one last time. Paul, well, Ephesians 1.1. 1, 1. Paul, an apostle of Yahweh Shai, by the will of Yahweh, to the saints which are not, which, I'm sorry, to the saints which are at Ephesus, and to the faithful in Yahweh Shai. You got to read this book precept upon precept, upon precept, otherwise you get all lost and confused, all right? But with that, I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Ha Raka Kadash. Double honors goes out to the elder apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth. Also, I want to acknowledge all the Akiam pushing this truth with sincerity on the streets of Babylon. Shalom to the elect.